Two deaths in the past year from people off-roading west of Tucson. Also, a serious injury accident all in this same general area. And Pima County Sheriff's deputies want to put a stop to it. Today begins their zero-tolerance program for off-road vehicles, specifically in a 10-square-mile area between Ajo, Camino Verde, and Valencia. 9 News Science Keaton Thomas joins us. And uh, Keaton, you are with deputies today. Well, that's right, Val. And as we've reported in the past, the other issue here is that this is private property. And on any given Sunday, there can be hundreds of off-roaders seen in that area. And today, deputies were ready to cite anyone or even arrest anyone riding on that land. We took a short ride in an off-road vehicle to the top of a hill where two sheriff's deputies were on the lookout with binoculars. They stood watch over the plot of land between Ajo, Valencia, and Camino Verde. Deputies even parked in the desert itself. In this aerial video from the Sheriff's Department, you can see hundreds of ATV riders on this private plot of land in the past. And for the past few weeks, Sheriff's deputies have used social media, handed out flyers, telling people that they could be arrested or fined starting Sunday for off-roading on this land. Sergeant David Tyra supervises this operation. A zero tolerance operation in which we would be uh, taking enforcement action if, in fact, the off-road vehicles were on the uh, property itself. Deputies say there's a combination of factors that prompted the patrol. One is racing in the off-road vehicle. Deputies say that's a public safety issue. Neighboring communities have general complaints. Some noise issues, some dust-related issues, just uh, general nuisance type stuff. Then there's the periphery problems associated with so many people using this land. Drinking, um, people with kids out there, leaving the trash. During Sunday's operation, deputies spotted a few off-roaders but did not cite anyone. Now, deputies tell me that that's a success because their warnings in the past worked. A few weeks ago, there were hundreds in that area, and today they only saw two people, but again, no citations. Now, deputies say that this isn't the end of their operation. They will continue to monitor that area. Keaton Thomas, KGON 9, on your side. All right, thank you.